Welcome back to another episode of the Chips and Chops podcast on a first shout out Stalker and Beast. It's Amir's favorite place here in South Bend. It's a, <laughs> It's, uh, it's where we are right now. I got a podcast video studio, 24-7 access, free Wi-Fi, conference rooms, events. So there's going to be a link in the bio. You guys should check them out. Um, yeah, so today we have on Amir Harris. You know, I met Amir in sixth grade. Um, he transferred from Walt Disney to Holy Cross. And, like, right away, right away he was a big name. Let's just say that. <laughs> Everyone knew him. Um, I wouldn't say we were super close. There were times when we didn't get along. But, you know, I have a, let's just say we have a lot of stories. We have a lot of memories. Um, and then, you know, we went to different high schools. I'll say we both changed like a lot as people and stuff like that. But yeah, so this is Amir. How you doing today, bro? Doing good. Yeah, ha- happy to have you here, bro. This is just like, yeah, this is something that was, it, it was a long time coming. Let's just say that. Yeah. But yeah, so let's just go back to the beginning, bro. What, what is your, I'll say this. What is like your first memory, bro, of coming to school with us? With me, at least. Oh, with you? Okay. Um... You walk in day one, look in your class. Who who are these kids? You see Joey. Yeah, like, Joey was probably standing no. up doing something. <laughs> I remember day one. I don't remember Joey. I but, just remember you from when we, because like for everyone listening, Amir is like you're one of the best hoopers in South Bend. Let's just say that, right? Yeah. Back then he would say he was better than LeBron, and I was kind of <laughs> like, what the heck? But maybe he is. Who knows? So right? is that why you didn't get along? Is because you were you were just like I'll say this back then like. I think it was. You just thought you were better than him, probably, right? Nah, not at basketball, but like I'll say back then, like he just had, a, we just had very big personalities, right? So we were going around saying, "Oh, I'm better than LeBron." I'm like, "Are you an idiot? Like you're not better than LeBron." Bro, we used to argue about basketball. Every yes, day. I, I'm not like I was. I was an Amir hater back then, bro. We'd go outside and do English work. Yeah, and then we just do like basketball. Teams, yeah, like Kobe and LeBron, and you know stuff like that. We used to do that all the time. Yeah, but what are some of, uh, I'll say this, what are some of, like, your favorite memories from going to grade school? Um, my favorite one got to be, <laughs> all right, uh, let me think. All right, the one that comes to my head, like, like the first one that comes to my head is when we played seventh graders. And <laughs> so, wait, we were in eighth grade, right? We were in eighth grade, and okay. we played the seventh graders. And I remember Will told Coach, I'm tired. And Coach, you know how Coach was. He never yeah, of course Will like, Barnes was tired. Yeah. yeah, You know how Coach was like, he, you're not tired. You yeah. know, stuff like that. So he kept Will in, and Will threw this super lazy pass. <laughs> Tommy gets the ball, and he shoots a half court, and he beats us. And I went to the locker room, and I cussed everybody <laughs> out. And everybody hated me after that. Like, yes. everybody was so mad. This was this was just a scrimmage? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, so scrimmage the seventh grade, grade team grade. beat the eighth grade team. But I was so mad that's, that we lost that, the seventh That's grade. embarrassing that, that it, was, it came down to a fun, like a half-court shot. Tommy shot a half-court buzzer beater, and then they beat us. And they were all, like, celebrating like they just won a championship. Yeah, I would, too. And I'd be like Pat Bev winning, <laughs> winning the play-in. Bro, it was so embarrassing, bro. And I it, just, like, I cussed everybody out. Like, I was so mad. It was... I'll say this. There were a lot of ups and downs, right? But looking back at my middle school days, basketball was definitely, like, the highlight. Like, it was where... It was, ICCL sports in general were the highlights. Yeah. 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 Like, it was, like... Bro, like usually I hate the winter and now like the winter sucks. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just boring. But back then, bro, like best when basketball was around, that was the best time of my life. Like Definitely. we had so much fun together. But I remember like sixth grade year, we kind of sucked. Like, oh, yeah, we were bad. Like we, we were bad. Sixth right? grade year, everybody sucked. I remember I came. Oh, no, I do. The first time I remember you, y'all kept calling me the new Miguel. So we were in sixth grade. Was Miguel call- still, was Miguel oh, still there? Miguel transferred fifth grade and then I came. Oh, so they so like thought you were like, like the, new the Miguel, second coming of Jesus. And I'm like, I'm like, who? I'm like, who is yeah. Miguel? <laughs> they nah, kept the new Miguel, I, the new Miguel, and I'm like, bro, who is Miguel? If I were you, that would have pissed me off. It did. Like, but I didn't know who he was. So yeah. I'm like, maybe it's a good thing. And now that's your teammate now, so yeah. that's kind of crazy. And that's super crazy. But yeah, so sixth grade year we kind of sucked. Seventh grade year though, we we were one of the best. Seventh teams. grade year we should have won, and then you know should have won what the the championship. The championship. Seventh grade year. Seventh grade year. Yes. Oh, they, oh, because yeah, every everyone on St. Anthony's was up. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I think we were in the championship seventh grade year. For real, you guys might have been. We I think lost. it was us and I. I couldn't tell you who, but I we we no no, no. we made it eighth grade year. We played Deglin and them in the championship because we got like a first round bye. Y'all made it eighth grade year. Yeah, because we had a first round bye and then played like St. Matt's or something. I thought Queen of Peace played. Queen of Peace probably. Was I might be wrong, but I might, it might have been Final Saint Four. Anthony. But I think it was us. It probably was Final Four because I know it was Queen of Peace versus St. Anthony's because Darian tried to dunk. He dunked. He tried to dunk he tried against to dunk us in eighth grade year. In yeah. the eighth grade game, I was like, wow. But yeah, we lost to Corpus, seventh grade year. I remember seventh grade year. Se- seventh grade year Corpus. We yeah, they the were Corpus. like that. Yeah. I, but I remember 
seventh grade year, we, we had a game at Marion High School um, against St. Joe, and it got down to the wire, and I did the passing. And this was like early December, bro. It was Jack's birthday or something. And I passed the ball into Will in the corner, and he shoots you air balls, and you were like, <laughs> you were so mad, bro. Like, you were, I've never, like, I was like, I hate this dude, I hate him here, I want to quit the team. Wait, was it for game? Yes. Yeah, and Will air the game, yeah. and I was so mad, because he passed to Will, he didn't give me the ball. I was so mad, but Will was wide open. Yeah. Like, I thought about it, and I was like, that was actually a good shot. Yeah. Like, it was a good, it was a good choice. Like, Will, Will just choked. Yeah, he just yeah, air that's, that's But not I cussed surprising. Joey out, and I cussed Will out for it. Actually, I don't think I cussed Will nah. out. I cussed Joey out for passing him the ball, and it like, <laughs> like yeah. Like you were just like saying, "I'm such an idiot." All oh, this I was stuff. like, I was like, bro, just give me the ball, bro. I was like, I probably had like 20 that game. Yeah, so I'm like, bro, just give me the ball. But I remember Corpus. We played Corpus first round. We thought we were going to championship seventh grade. Yeah, we, we like we were like I think we I think we were like eight and two or something. Like and like the losses were really close. Like yeah. we were dominating teams. Yeah, so we were winning like and it was and, first like, round. Yeah, first round and. <laughs> First time we played Corpus, we beat them by 20. I think I had 26 and Eddie had 20. Yep. And then we played them, and I don't even know. Like, I had three points. And my only three was... You were shut down, bro. I wasn't even shut down. Like, I was just missing. Like, I, I don't know why I just shot all threes that game, and I could not shoot in middle school. My shot was so bad in middle school. Yeah. No, I remember that. Before the game, we, like, went over to our assistant... Co or I guess co-head coach or whatever like we went over to one of our coaches houses and like we we're just chilling like eating bro that's when I started rapping yeah Joe do you remember that bro I had a rap song so, so, Joe so, go. so you've been you've been a rapper since you, you haven't since seen a clip bro I, I, I haven't seen a clip oh my god it was like I, I was yeah I was I was just on the bed with everyone oh, surrounding me no I did it Joey's was on goat. TikTok yeah it's yeah like, we posted it on our TikTok it was Joey's, like, the Joey's a goat <laughs> yeah 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 Joey's a goat and like it was just I'm like, like, that was awful, bro. Like, I think that's the reason that we lost, bro. Like, <laughs> like, bro, we used to, we used to go to the, we used to go to the coach house and we were eating stuff and we would walk to St. Joe and go to play at the games. Every game we had at St. Joe, we'd go to our coach house right before because yeah. she lived like two minutes. That's kind of cool. It was, it was like a lot of fun, but I just remember going in that game like, I don't know, bro. You were just off that day, like, I was so off. and I was like so mad. I was like, I'm here. And Joey like, was our leading scorer again. Well, did I have like nine? Joey had like nine and eleven, re 14, 14, 14 rebounds. rebounds. Bro. I had nine he had 14 rebounds. rebounds. Like that. That was like. But I remember. I mi I think I missed like a free throw or something. And, like, bro, I don't know, but I remember. Dang, you guys were like a full bro. ass, like hanging out like before yeah. games. Like, yeah, like, crazy. like our team was like really. You guys really tight, were like bro. a team. Seven, you guys were like grade, tight. Sixth grade year, we didn't do anything. No. Like, we were just we go to school, you know. But seventh to eighth grade year, like our coach made us get super tight. Like yeah, we didn't that, run plays or anything. Like I watched film yesterday, and like some games look like we had plays, like passing, like all types of stuff. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Like, no, because we were, you know, we had twenty five people in our class. If there's eight people on the basketball team, like yeah, we we had so. only we would only hang out with each other at school, like. Yeah. And what we, we would literally talk about basketball. It was twenty four seven, bro. Like yeah, it, it was that's like all we talked about every single day. Felt like it was an NBA playoff game for me. Like that's you know, going to practice. Like I, you know, I was bumping music, bro. Back then, I was probably listening to like T Grizzly or something, bro. Like, like getting hype in my driveway, like getting freeze, hype in my driveway. And I remember me and I used to go to Joey's house. Like when he got his new rim put up, I used to go to Joey's house and we used to play. I'm I used to. I had a moped and I used to ride my moped over there. <laughs> bro, I just don't remember. You don't remember that? I remember you got your ramp put up and you used to tell me how KJ would come over. Yeah. And then you and KJ were always playing. And one day you told me to come over and then I came over. And then like me, you and KJ played. And then I used to just I used to come over other days too. Yeah. And we just who Now you should see that rim. The rim is bro, just, it's, it's, it's like, like slanted downwards. It's like this, bro. Like it's really bad. Yeah, but But oh man, bro. Like those those I see those middle school basketball days, like those were Definitely. I don't know if you had like I personally that was like the best time ever. But, that was like, probably my that was probably my favorite year of basketball. It was either eighth grade or freshman year. Yeah. Like just basketball and school wise. Yeah. But like, you know, my best year of basketball was obviously last year. For sure. What what would you say is your favorite like basketball moments from middle school? Recently on the podcast I shared how my coach was like punching lockers and stuff. Oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> Um, <laughs> my favorite moment. And Were like, you there when Joey or when like the teacher or the yeah. coach oh, yeah. was like? We, we came him. out second half and we we won by a buzzer beater. Did, Jack Jack hit a buzzer beater that didn't game. Didn't you pass him the ball? No, I shot it in that air ball. I, I went down. I shot a layup. I should have. Really did you did you shoot it because you didn't want to run the risk of Will Will getting the ball or? <laughs> no, you didn't want to. You thought you thought it was the best was, shot. I don't think Will was on the court. I, just, <laughs> uh, I used to think my shots were the best shot. So like everything. I, so I just Whoa, went down. you were dropping. Yeah, and I had 25, 30 I, Yeah, I had like twenty five that game. So I went down and I like I went up. I tried to draw the foul 
and it just went right over the rim. And then, like, as soon as it went over, I seen Jack. And I just, like, I turned. <laughs> I turned my body. Like, I'm on the ground. I actually have that clip, too. I turned my body, and then I, Jack just gets it. And Jack Brother was on the bench, and Jack Brother jumps up as soon as he touches the ball. And he gets it, he puts it back up, and it just goes in. Everybody just got hype, and everybody. That was, but, like, we didn't really get too hype. Like, and we went to overtime that game. Yeah, because Will missed the buzzer beater. <laughs> Will missed the uh, uh, Will just, missed the fourth quarter buzzer beater against uh, against Holy Family. That's who we were playing that day. Yeah, Holy Family. Yeah. I just didn't think they that, had Seti, Zach Th- Fuel. It was, it was said, said, said. Gave us thirty seven that game. Bro, he was a shooter. That was Not, like he bro. was. Said gave he's us, a lefty, right? Him, him having yeah. like like you, him, um, we're just like. What? I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm going for. Are you KJ, going for- we're like all people that could just post up like 25, 30 yeah, plus. Say it gave us 37 that game. And then it's so funny because we beat them by a buzzer beater. And then we played them the next, our first round game, we played them again. Like, oh, so it was back to back games. Yeah, yeah. And we won by one in the first game. So actually, Say it hit a, a layup to bring them up by, first Say it hit a layup to take us to overtime. And then he hit a layup to get him up by one, and then that play happened. And what really happened, Joey passed the ball, and he threw a full court, <laughs> and Sid grabs it. Like, he, like, like a football yeah, yeah. Like He grabs it, and when he comes down, he loses it. And I grab it, and I go down, and I try to shoot a layup. I miss, and Jack gets the put back. But Joey almost turned that the ball tough. over. <laughs> Joey almost turned the ball over. But then we played them in the first <laughs> round. We played them in the first round, and then um, I had 39 that game. In the first round, like that, like and, that's crazy. And Cedric had tw- Cedric had thirty two. These games are twenty eight minutes who long. We won. We won by one. These games are twenty eight minutes long, and you're having we went, to, we, went to, we went to double overtime this game, I think, or we went to overtime again. We either went to the overtime or double time. We went to overtime both times we played them. And then um, I remember I got fouled. It was a tie game. I hit a. I missed. A, I missed a free throw. and I made a free throw. And then Cedric came down, tried to shoot a midi, and I blocked it. And then we won the game. And then we played. Queen of Peace, the next yeah, game. And, that yeah, that we was, lost. But yeah. I don't know if you remember that game. Like, I was play, like I was going crazy. Oh, yeah, Queen of Peace, yeah. Joey like, was Eddie was our center. He was, he was definitely our second best player. And, like, he just stopped caring. Yeah. Like, I literally, I saw, I saw him, like, three days ago, and he was like, yeah, I just stopped caring. And yeah. so our coach went over to the bench, got Eddie. The whole, like, or not the bench, the whole, um, like, the parents watching. Yeah. He got Eddie, and he was like, like, do you have respect for your mother? Do you have respect for your mother? Do you have respect for your family? Then play like it. Like, and like it was so. Your coach, it was this the same coach that like threw the stuff at the lockers. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. so it was, was half time every year. Yeah, he's, he's amazing guy. Yeah, he, he's definitely. It. He's he just he, he cared more about like us than like the team. Like yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like he's someone that's, that's like yeah, really yeah. facilitated like yeah. a lot of growth, like yeah. to change for like a better person. You know. Yeah. Like. But all that, but yeah. So he brought he brought Eddie over to the bench and was like saying, "Do you care about your family and all this <laughs> stuff?" And yeah, bro. Like Eddie, I remember seventh grade year. Eddie used to just get so many like putbacks and just go, yeah. up. bro. I, I promise you, when I watched the Holy Family film, Eddie shot at least 12 threes. <laughs> 12 threes. At least twelve threes. How many did he make? He made like four or five. Of them. That's no, that's really he good. He was though. hitting like that, I, that's really. He good. had more than I thought. He had like he ended up with like twenty something. I was like, wow, I did not that's, remember him having that much. No, that's insane. Do you remember? remember do you remember like? It I, probably was sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. I was point guard. You were not point yeah, guard. Yeah, you were point guard. Seventh, eighth grade. And like, like Amir, you look at him. He's a point guard. Like this man is like you were versatile, like agile. I don't even like athletic. I guess. Yeah. And I'm. I, I would say back then I was. I, I I couldn't touch like I couldn't even touch the net. Like you know what I mean? Like, and I couldn't dribble, bro. Like I don't know why I was ever point guard. Like you could pass. Yeah, I could, but like it was like weird. I, like, I, looking, I remember. I remember who came in and showed you a move like. I want to say it was my grandpa. He came in for a practice <laughs> and he showed you this move. Like when you take it up, just back him down and keep turning your hips. And he showed, and you just just do whatever. That was the only move you did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you would just go down, do a little spin, do a little spin, do a little spin. Yeah, and it was just like, pass it, like yeah, let me see if I can do it. <laughs> yeah, oh God. It was like you know you go down and then you switch. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that, right? So, yeah, but, so not too much. Yeah, that's, all, that's the only movie really. <laughs> so like they're full court pressing. I'm doing that the whole way down, right? Like. But yeah, I mean, I, I've said this before. Like I, the amount of turbo, turnovers I had was so bad. <laughs> like I thought I was like Rajon Rondo. Like I thought I was such a good passer. And like I'll be honest, like I was a dimer at times, bro. Yeah, like there were times I'd be like, oh my god. Like I would, I would get the ball, I'd full court pass it right on the money. Yeah. And like it was just like something that like I thought I was like it was like a god given talent. <laughs> like I just like had like the flow, bro. Like I could just 
put the ball wherever I want. I was some sort of Jedi, bro. Like, I don't even know. I was just talking to Coach yesterday. He was like, I remember everybody used to get mad because I had Joey running point guard. Yes. Yeah, and, like, I lo- like, I was, I feel like I was, like, so overprotected of, be- of being point guard. Like, I was like, no, you're not point guard. I'm your point guard. I yeah. lead this team. Yeah. And that's just not. Now, next, like, now. Like, if, like, if you had to inbound it to him, you'd say, like, pass it back? Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. He doesn't pass it back. I'm pushing him over, taking that ball. He's like, my ball now. <laughs> right? Um, but, yeah, like, I, I don't even know, bro. Like, it was just crazy how, like, our team was so big. Yeah, we were. Like, we yeah, had... Yeah, no, that, that was something that, like... Yeah, we had three I mean, we dudes we looked at you guys, you guys were huge. We had three starting dudes who and were... I was the smallest on the team. Yeah, we had... I was so little. I we, was, like, five. I don't even know. I was super small, though. Yeah, but we had, we had like, five... Three dudes starting who were at least 5'10", 200 pounds. Yeah, that's 7 to 8. Yeah, like, at 13, 14 years <laughs> like, old. We like, were, yeah, we were scared of you. Yeah, so we would get a lot of rebounds, but, like... Bro, looking back, we should have been a lot like a lot better than we a were. A lot better. Like if we could just like I don't even know, like just get in the paint, you know? Bro, I don't, yeah. Stuff like that. But yeah, like those were Eighth grade year, we weren't that bad either. I thought we were gonna be worse eighth grade than seventh grade, because like, you know, yeah. we're playing with everybody now. Like most of the like good seventh graders, they were playing up. Yeah. But you know, coach would never let us play up. But I remember he used to let me I remember he he would pick players to play up. He like, would never pick you? No, he always picked me. But I remember, like, one time he picked, he'll pick, like, two or three. I remember one time you played up with me. You and Chepe played up with me one time. Eddie never played like, up for some reason. Like, in seventh grade, we played up. We played with eighth graders. Did I get in? Like, I, I feel like so. I probably got in for two minutes. I thought it was, yeah, like, I remember, the biggest I remember, moment of my life. I didn't even get the ball. Like, I remember I used to get mad. I, I, <laughs> I got mad because they wouldn't start me. And I felt like I should have been starting. I mean, You probably should have been, bro, yeah. Um, Kaden. Kaden was super nice. Kaden, he went to Marion. Kenton. Kaden Kenton. Kaden that's, Kenton we had Kaleo on. That's like Kaden his best friend. Kaden was super nice, bro. Like, Kaden was nice. Like, Kaden was the only dude that I was like, he should be starting over. Nobody else on the eighth grade team I was like, should have been starting. But Kaden was nice. I remember one time we played and Kaden had like 28 or like 30 or something. And I had like. like that's crazy. That and I had like, like 15, 16 or something like that. And then I was like, I mean, I'm a seventh grade. I'm playing up. I'm like, oh my God, like, we're like a duo. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> but I remember Coach even, like, and I remember one time. It was like a little tournament, and eighth grade and seventh grade was playing, and I was playing with the eighth and the seventh grade, and I was so tired, and yeah, it was just yeah. Man, I used to score like seven points and thought I was big. You guys are like, <laughs> bro. Like, that's the thing. Like, I didn't. I never scored the ball. Bro, I promise you, against Holy Family on the video, you hit two to three threes. That's just like, and they were all net. That's just crazy. Like, I just, I just remember. I remember I'd miss a lot of layups. Like, yeah, you did. Like, you missed I, a lot of layups. It was like, I, like I was scared if I get the ball and it's just. People are twenty feet behind me. I'm just going like I'm you going up. Like you missed a lot of layups. It was like it was really bad. And I, when I watched film, the way you moved was so funny. <laughs> like what was it like, bro? Like it I just was like, so funny, bro. Like you like waddle. <laughs> <laughs> you like waddle, bro. It was just like I was going full force. Bro, and it was I just, just so funny. You just, yeah, I, I got a tech against you guys in some good. For what? For real? Yeah. For what? For for slamming the ball. I was, remember this. Yes. I was Amir. I don't think Amir was playing. I, no, no, it was Amir at, it was wasn't. At, it was at Holy Cross. Amir wasn't. And we playing. were up, and you guys no, came back. No, we show, we show. Okay, this is what I was talking about. You were academically ineligible or something, and I, I was so happy. Like I felt bad. Like, did I play eighth like, grade? Mm-hmm. You played eighth grade, yeah. But like seventh grade, I mean, we played in the regular season. This was twice. like the second game, like of the season we oh, played. Yeah. You guys, yeah, like, we I played remember seventh, seventh and sixth grade. I missed the first two games. I missed the first two games of the season seventh, because I remember seventh grade. I didn't get to play against KJ. Yeah. I okay. Didn't get to play so against KJ. it was probably it was probably one of those years, and. It's like two minutes left in the game. The game's so hype. Like you guys were up by a, mu- a bunch, and he put the we up by 10. the bench players in, and that includes me. So and, I go no, in. It's literally just me, or and then on my team. Wait, your team put the bench players. In? Oh y'all yeah. were up? No, no, we were down. Yeah. Oh no, we were down like ten. A minute thirty left. He puts the bench guys in. That that includes me. So bench guys go in. I go in. I'm so I'm like oh my gosh, we're gonna have a comeback of the lifetime, and we did. We hit like two threes. And then full court pressing. F- you guys were full court pressing, and I think it was like I took the ball. He called like a reach in, and I slammed the ball on the ground, <laughs> caught it, did it again, and 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 the ref tweet called me out, said I had a tech, so I had to sit the rest of the game. You guys ended up winning. You guys we, ended up yeah, winning. Yeah, no, we did. We I sat down, and then we. Like stole like three inbound passes in a row. Yes. I don't. It might have been you inbounding it, bro. I don't even and know. Wait, I just real, our first our, our two losses that we lost were the games I didn't play seventh grade. Yeah, yeah. one of them one of them the was def- two games. Yeah. One of them was definitely us because we Corpus. we lost the yes. Corpus twice. Yeah, because we, we, we stole were, like, the inbounds. Like, and, yeah, but like I just that bro, that's crazy that we were both in like, the same gym. Our both parents were like we just 
like now five years later like we're just doing our own thing like i don't know that's yeah. kind of weird to think about i mean no I, no like i all our team hated you guys like holy cross and, holy cross and pious were the two most hated teams For who but the thing is we're like, that's polar opposites though like pious is like the people with the new gym the kids yeah. who well get their, and then like, holy cross is just lessons and stuff you're, it was most hated because like <laughs> like he was just dropping 30 on people for fun like and you were just like you and jack and eddie were just like these big guys that no one could guard it's like what are we even supposed to do if our great y'all were super big it was like weird bro like our squad was just like so like you only had 25 you, like now you say you only have 25 kids and like three of them are over six foot at 14 years old? 200 pounds, too. But yeah, if you look at the you whole guys class, were big. It's probably 10 out of 25. But. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah <let's... laughs> we had the, the twins. They were they were told. <laughs> okay, chill, 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 chill. chill. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah. Um, but yeah, I remember eighth grade year, you know, after basketball season, stuff like that. I thought I thought Amir was going to go to St. I thought you were going to go to St. Joe. I did, too. And I, I went to Adams. Too. And so I guess, like, we didn't. We didn't really talk in, like at all until yeah. probably after freshman year. And I remember, after, I'll be honest, like in eighth grade, I, the whole time I thought Amir was, just, I, I thought he was an a-hole. Like I thought you were just like really I, cocky. You know, I, I learned he was, he went to Clay freshman year, right? You Did you tell me that? No, I I was on freshman team for Adams freshman year. Okay. I pulled up to Clay. I don't I don't know if you played Oh, we or not. played you on a tournament. I, I didn't play because I was hurt. You played? And I no. played the next game. Everybody was no. saying I was scared to play. No, I was so like. I was like, we were like warming up, and I was like, oh my god, that's that's the kid that like just destroyed us all, like <laughs> ICCL years. And you were just, you were like in jeans, you were just like limping around, and bro, I popped I was my like, hip out of place. Yeah, because you were like limping around, yeah. and I was like, no way. And like we got, I think we won the tournament. I beat, beat us by yeah. yeah. Y'all, y'all won the whole tournament, but y'all. I th- yeah, I think we won the tournament, and then we played you guys as like a head to head, and I think you played. Yeah. I was like, no way, he's playing. And I think you did you swing on to JV too? Yeah, I played JV because I st- I remember. St- Going to the JV game, I was yeah. like, he's on this team too. Like, I was supposed to swing varsity my freshman year, but that's crazy. I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about transferring. Where Why? Because you, you weren't going to varsity, St. Joe. You would have transferred to St. Joe. Yeah, I was. I, I was. Really Wait, why? So why didn't you go there off off rip? I didn't want to take the placement test. Oh, I didn't want to take the placement test. Why? I don't know. It was so long, and I just I hate tests. You're I, scared of it. I, I remember this, bro. <laughs> I didn't want to take them, and then I was supposed to go to Washington. Like I met Washington workouts and everything. And then, like, Clay was not an option, honestly. But I was at Washington workouts and stuff. And I remember I missed one workout. And I didn't get to play in one of the summer league games. I'm like, I'm not going no more. Because you missed one practice? Yeah, I missed yeah. a practice. And I didn't get to play in a summer league game. And then yeah. I remember I was, like, I was at, like, a family reunion. And one of my cousins was the coach. And he was talking to my dad. And then I ended up at Clay. And I played freshman year. I had a, I had a pretty decent freshman year. You being there all four years is very rare. Yeah, I had a, yeah definitely. I had, I had a pretty decent freshman year. I was, like... My freshman on JV, I averaged like twelve. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. And yeah, I was like twelve. And then my I come back sophomore year, and the coach leaves. The coach that got me there, he's gone. And then I was like, wow. Their coach now is seems like a nice guy. Yeah, he's a he, he, he is he's okay. a good guy. Yeah, yeah, he seems nice. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, I think we kind of like we like hooped together or something or sophomore year, so we kind of like yeah. reconnected at that point. But I remember like I'll be I'll be a blunt like I really just. I didn't like you that much. Like I don't know. Like I just like I thought you're like this is like the cockiest dude ever. He just only cares about himself. I was super. I, yeah, I was super and like you know, probably not all of that's like really true. Like obviously, like, you're a cool guy. But then I remember you know, like in high school, we like talked again. And I was like, this dude is like humble, and like he's just like people grow. High school, yeah. high school humble. Like like what like because I. What do you also, what do you think about it was? It was the talent level in basketball, or was it just like the whole like not, I don't aspect know, like, of high school? Like I remember. My freshman year, we played Penn JV, and I'm. It was probably like like this game like really humbled me. Like Penn, I, Penn JV or Penn JV. Okay, so no Joey Garland. I had no Joey. Oh, he was on freshman. He was on freshman yep. team and, and dropped. Yeah, I had. What did I have? I had two points. This mind you, I only played the first quarter. Two point six turnovers. And the first coach quarter. benched you for the rest of the I game. Sat the rest of the game, and we lost by three. And so, I and I blame myself for the game, and then like like I was always the type to like blame myself for games, like against Corpus, I blame myself for that game for so many years. Like yeah, like now yeah. I still blame myself, but I just don't care about it anymore. But like looking pick, back, I kind of care now. Like I don't know why. I'm like I'm like I wonder, like, if, really I, wonder if, I wonder if KJ remembers. He definitely does. We can Bro, talk to him tomorrow. To like yeah, he has to remember that. Like 
Bro, KJ, no, I remember. KJ, I remember him. I remember him torching us too in the playoffs and bro, stuff. Me and KJ used to go at it. I thought he his, was gonna like kill in um, high school. I played against his him. his shooting. Just his shooting back then was just insane. Yeah, like you yeah. had to you had to step up. He, three, changed, he changed his shot. You had to you had to step up four or five feet yeah. past the line. Yeah, like and he, he always had his shorts like <laughs> super. His bro. shorts were like I thought he was like the creator of the short shorts. They were like all the way up. It was like a speedo. Thanks. Thanks. It was bad. Yeah, bad. <laughs> yeah. They were so super high. I remember all our stuff was so big. Yeah. Uh, big and baggy. <laughs> <laughs> Just big and baggy. They were they weren't baggy for for like, nah, the they were uh, people over six they foot. Were for mine. <laughs> Mine's they were baggy. Yeah. But yeah, I remember I played KJ my soft my sophomore year on JV. Because I swung JV and varsity my sophomore year. I felt like I should have played more varsity. I thought I was gonna be full varsity. I I honestly thought I was gonna start. So that helped me a lot too, but I don't know. Like, Did that like change you personally? Like I, I just think like, I don't know. Like was it, would you say it's like basketball that made you kind of humble? I guess I, I would just say like you're more like you're like a humble guy, you know. Yeah. Like back then I thought like you're like, overly confident in a way. Now you just like yeah. you're just like a nice a nice dude, you know. Like yeah, it was it was definitely basketball. Yeah. But then like my sophomore year, like my confidence was at like all time low. Like my confidence was so low. I remember I got in the game and my coach was like. Don't shoot any threes. <laughs> like I mean, I got wow. in my first play of the game. I shot a three. I was wide open though. I shot the three, and he was, and I missed it. He took me out and told me, three's not your strong shoot. Don't shoot any threes when you get in the game." This like, this was the coach that's not there anymore. No, the coach that's there now. My head coach now. My head coach now. He wow. told me, he was like, "Don't shoot any threes." And I'm like, "Dang!" And I didn't shoot no more threes the rest of the season. And that was like middle of the season, and I didn't. I was zero for ten. Uh, <laughs> I was zero for ten from the three, and that 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 was my tenth three, and I didn't shoot any more the whole season. So how did you bounce back? Because junior year, you you had a spurt where you were going crazy. Yeah, um, and then I remember, like, the end, like, what was it? The end of my sophomore year, our best player got hurt. Who was uh, it? The, uh, Rob, Robert Allen. He got hurt the last game of the season, but he played in sections. But he got hurt the last game of the season, like, in the practice. This is junior year? No, my sophomore, sophomore year. Okay. So he got hurt the last game of the season. So I'm like, like, I was kind of, I'm like, oh, dang, he got hurt. But I'm like, I'm finna play. Like I'm like oh, I might start, so I, I went to sleep early and everything. <laughs> I didn't start, but I played, and I had 11 points, seven rebounds, and like four assists. And we played New Prairie. New Prairie was good this year. Like yeah. they won their they won they won their sectional and everything. We lost in overtime, and I was like so hurt. I was so hurt. But then we went in sectionals, and sectionals went all bad. And then yeah. you know, but like junior year, I I I actually started off like pretty. Like, I don't know. Like, I had to, like, get the feel of it. Because like, it was really my first year, like, full varsity. First game we played, we won by, like, 50 our first game. No yeah. way. We like, like, we, yeah, we like I feel like deep down, like, Clay's just overhated. Like, that's the thing. Like, you guys, like, I, like. You guys had such an up. Like, I remember, you, who did you beat round one in sectionals? And it was Jim just. Town. Jim yeah. Town. It was, like, a big deal. It was, like, yeah. oh, my God. It was, Clay our first, it was our first sectional win in 10 years. Yeah, it was, like, a big deal. And, like, deep down, like, you guys got a lot of hoopers. And like. it's so funny because. I think actually that that really like like my confidence was getting high because I, I ended the season averaging like my last like six games I ended the season averaging like twenty five or something. Yeah, like, that's like insane. Like yeah. you were hoping for it. So yeah. I had got a concussion against Washington, so I was out for six games. I missed six games uh, last year, so I was out. And my first game back was Jimtown. I had zero points. <laughs> my first game back against Jimtown, I had zero points. So when I found out we got them in sectionals, I'm like, oh yeah, I got. How many game. did you drop again? I had twenty point seven rebounds and yeah, five assists. That's tough. And yeah. then you went on to have three games in a row, right? Dropping yeah. Uh, b- before the end of the season, I had what did I have? I had twenty eight on St. Joe. I had, did you guys beat them? I that forget. Must no, have felt we, wasn't we, it? We lost you by, lost by like we lost by like ten. And that, that's when yeah, like but, people were like maybe but, close. Like, the decent. game was like super close, and then Miguel got fouled out with like the last like three minutes of the game, and then like they like. Like I just so like you and Miguel were kind of just like carrying. Yeah. I averaged fifteen. Miguel averaged like thirteen or fourteen last year. So yeah, yeah. And then we had like you know the little road pieces, but we're gonna be better than we yeah. Were last no, year. Miguel Miguel was on our freshman team and we won that tournament at Clay. Yep, he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah, but we I, gonna, he was so tough. I was yeah, I was kind of disappointed gonna, when he got cut and transferred. We're gonna, we gonna be way better than um. We're gonna be way better this year than last year. We got. Yeah, no, I believe we you. We got a, we got a bunch of sleepers this year. Yeah, I remember. Well, because I feel like I don't know if the you know sleepers Kaden, are Caden Newhouse. Yeah, he's there he's too Clay, now. Yeah. Like. I kind of like it. Like, all the people that, like, like Caden uh, was on that freshman team yeah. with me. And they like, it's just sad. Like, yeah. all the Hoopers that were, like, on my freshman team, none of them really play anymore. Yeah, like, Alex Caden. Jeffries was – actually, Alex wasn't on that, but he was in our class. Um, it's just really – yeah, none of our guys play anymore. Yeah, it seems it's just, like – It's just everyone that still plays had to transfer. And, yeah. 
don't know. It kind of seems like Clay is like the place where, like, in new, your, new beginnings. On, yeah, on your team, it's like how many of these guys have been there since freshman year? Like one. It's literally just you, right? It's, just, it's me and uh, my my boy Jaden. Okay. We got this dude named Jaden over there. JP. He going he's a sleeper this year. Yeah. He gonna shock a lot of people this year. But, but my boy Jaden. He. It was me and him. It was one more dude. His name Peyton, but he's not playing anymore. So just me and Jaden. We've been there since. Like that. Year. Like that's that's just crazy. That like. Yeah. Everybody like, how do you? Does that make you like feel a different way? That like all the people that come to your school because. I mean, they can kind of like like people come and then they be like, oh, I'm going to play. Like, it's a few people like, oh, I'm going to play this year with you and then I'm leaving after. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. It just it just feels like, like, how do I explain it? It feels like they like duck in the grind. Like, why not be, yeah. like, be the player to make Clay better? Like, yeah. like you know, like like be that player. Like, uh, last year, we only won eight games. That was the most win since my head coach had been there. Yeah. We won our first sectional game in 10 years. Like, you yeah th this year definitely you you'll yeah. pass you'll get in double digits for wins yeah like 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 this year could be our first winning season in so long like probably since like, the nineties like yeah, when like, they won that state championship like we got like we got a lot of we got a lot of like like we got chances to like change a lot of stuff for Clay this year like yeah like break break year curses yeah. this year why did you decide to stay at Clay all four years um was it really your choice or it was my choice i could have like if i wanted to leave i could have but like every time like, i don't know i don't like i don't like that like yeah. people I, just yeah, like leave like, and yeah, stuff like, like that just like, leave. like it's like, not like, college it's yeah, not like, it's not nba like you're like, not getting yeah. you're not trading yourself yeah. like that's not a thing like 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 when stuff get hard i don't like just like yeah like i mean i'm don't get me wrong it was on my mind like i was like like it was a point i was like this close to transferring and i was like i'm not leaving like, i would have felt like i was quitting on my team especially yeah. like the people that were there like the whole time so i didn't want to i was like no i'm just gonna ride out so you, do you feel some sort of like allegiance to Clay then? Like, like it seems like like those are like you, you ride with these guys. You, know? like you got like, school these, spirit. These are your boys. Like yeah, you'd rather boys. Yeah, you'd boys. rather play at Clay than you'd rather else. play. Yes. At, yes. And that like that's crazy because everyone just everyone around the bench just thinks Clay is just. Yeah, like, we gonna, it's we, just a trash can. Like, you know, like, <laughs> we gonna, we gonna wake a lot of people up this year. I'm really ready for the season. Like, that, like, like our second game of the season is John Glenn. And they're good, yeah. yeah the is that the guy that beat, beat they beat you guys, right? In yeah, they beat us. They, uh, no, because then they went to Marion the sectionals. Beat us sectionals. They lost oh. to Marion in sectionals. Oh, so but John, Glenn, you guys John, had to play Deglin and Dara. Yeah, no, yeah, we back played those ICCL yeah, yeah, days. Played, yeah, and they killed us back then too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> they murdered us. They murdered I don't, I don't think people. they lost an ICCL game. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think anyone. You know, they won four straight years. Yes, they won. I don't think they lost a game. Championships, and I don't think they have any losses in like their fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Dorian and Deglin, I don't think they have any losses. They have insane chemistry. Yes, definitely. That'd be cool to get like a duo one sitting in the middle. Yeah, definitely. Those two. But no, that's that's just so crazy. Like Yeah. Yeah, Clay's kind of just like it, it's it's over hated. Like, I'll be honest, I used to I mean I just thought it was like I said it's a trash can, you know what I mean, bro? Like I did too. Like <laughs> before I went, I was like, Clay, like yeah, like, I'm not going to Clay. No, man. I don't want to go to Clay. No, I but, like, like Clay. I mean, it's not that bad. Yeah. I don't regret anything though. Like, yeah. Like I'm 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 actually glad I went there. I feel like if I didn't go like if I didn't go to Clay, I wouldn't have like blossomed how I did. Like I don't know, it was just something like that just like made me like I mean like, you were you were the main focus. Kill. Yeah, like I like have to kill, like Yeah. Like I don't know. Like you're like the guy. Yeah, right? like like I flipped the switch. For real. Yeah, and then it's just like my first the game that like my breakout game was Mitchell Walker. What'd you hit? I had twenty five. Twenty five. There's another guy. ICCL guy. Yeah. I guess he transferred Mookie. Oh yeah, Mookie played though. I, I heard Penn he now. transferred to he's Penn. Like, where did he play at? I he was at Mitchell Walker. No, where did he play at in middle school? I remember St. Mats. No, no, no. He was at St. Anthony's fifth grade year. He was on the team with Darion Deglin. They were they were even more in St. Matt. I heard about that. And he transferred to St. Matt's. And he played at St. Matt's all 6th, 7th, 8th grade? He was good. I, I don't know. He might have been on St. Anthony's 6th grade too, but I know 7th, 8th grade I for him. sure. I, I, remember I, I remember playing him. Yeah. But I no, I, I don't know when he transferred, but but no, he was he was. Yeah, Mookie, like um, yeah, Mookie nice, but he's at Penn now. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. Is he going to play? A lot of Mishwaka people transferring. He's going to play. He's going to play. Yeah, he's a senior like us? Yeah, he's a senior. He's going to play. Mookie nice. That's what's yeah, up. I had 25 on Mishawaka and 11 rebounds, and we lost by three. One of my teammates shot a buzzer beater instead of giving me the ball. <laughs> did, did you was, it, was it Will Barnes? Uh, oh, no. man. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I was like, I, we went in the locker room, and I'm like, I'm trying to keep my calm. I oh, know, I, I didn't think you were allowed to shoot threes. Yeah, I'm trying to keep my <laughs> I'm trying to keep my calm, and then my coach was like, you know, it's probably the best shot we could have got. And I just like, I said, I have 25. I said, I'm two for, like, bro, I just hit a buzzer beat at the end of the third quarter. Like, I'm, like I felt like any shot I took was going in. Like, every, like, I was hitting stuff, like, I was like, bro, I was just coming up, like, no plays, just shooting the ball. Like, that's how I was feeling that game. I'm like, bro, yeah. I could, I, I was like, I'd rather shot from half court that game than, like, 
Yeah. I like that's how but, I feel about yeah. the game. You like, kinda any, like, it seems like you're kind of like the X Factor player. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. you want like to you you live or die by a game it. like that? Yeah, like, yeah, you can take yeah. over a game. Yeah. yeah. And then like, you kind of want to live or die by yeah. by yourself. Yeah. I mean, with the team, obviously. But, like, <laughs> at the end of the day, like, put the team on his back. Yeah. I mean, I mean, sometimes you got to do that. Yeah. I mean, I got weapons this year, though. Like, yeah, I got weapons. Do you guys, you going to be running point guard or is Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm finally running point guard this year. I haven't ran point guard. I haven't ran point guard since my sophomore year. For some reason, I ran point guard my sophomore year. And then my junior year, I ran a four, believe it or not. I was the four in my junior year. That's just. I mean, you're oh, you're, you're well, like was it, what, what, what was it? Four four guards and then Alex. Um, Bro. Oh, you know Alex? Yeah, he went. To, you know he went to La Crosse. Yeah. Oh, he we, told me that, and I did not remember him. He yeah. told me that though. I we forgot hoop about on the Alex. street all the time. Yeah. Uh, no, we had three guards, and then it was me, this dude named Jahan, Miguel, and then Alex, and then we had another big named Mari. But yeah, like so, like we had two players in that couldn't shoot the ball. Like we got like. Uh, like our whole lineup this year, like can knock down a three or two or yeah. three. Do you guys have a big man this year, Alex? I mean, yeah, but uh, kind of. Yeah, we got. I mean, we got a big man, but we gonna like the way we gonna play. We running more of a small ball lineup this year. That's gonna. Be but fun. I think it's gonna work. Do you get? Do you know when? Like the date that you play Adams? I don't. I know it's January though. I know it's like they won our first games. Like it's gonna be. At, it's gonna be at Adams this year because it's at Clay last year. I remember. Yeah, going, I didn't. Oh, damn. I, remember going I wonder if that. it's a Friday. I game remember going. I didn't. Get, no, year. it might not be January because last year I didn't get to play against Adams this year, or last year because I was hurt. I was yeah, I remember. I remember that. I remember seeing you on the bench. Who, who's your favorite team in South Bend to play against? Like, who do you like look forward to the most? Who do I look like to play this year? St. Joe, Washington. I gotta say, Mr. Walker again, just because yeah. I gave him twenty. Just because I like, I had my breakout. I had my breakout game, and I didn't even yeah. win. So yeah. I have to. I have to beat Mr. Walker. So Mr. Walker, Washington, and St. Joe. Is it because, like, you got boys on Washington? Is that what yeah, you Yeah, Washington, all my boys over there. Marcus, yeah. you know, Tang, you know, Doc, like, all, Steven, little Steven. That's all my boys over there. Grundy, yeah. you know. Yeah, and then, um, so looking into, you know, you recently just got recruited from Southwestern, Michigan, right? Yeah. So that's where Jor- Jordan yeah. goes. Yeah, yep. Um, is that the first college that's given you an offer? Or? Yeah, that's, that's my only offer right now. When, when did you get it? Um... I don't know the exact date. Yeah, but it, it's a big deal though. Yeah, I don't know the exact. You're 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 hype when you got that. Of course. Yeah, I was yeah I was hype. Wait, you got that email? Uh, no, he actually told me in person. Oh, like, for real? That's like, what's up, bro. He, you I, went on a visit there? Yeah, I went on a visit. Yeah, That's he, tough. Yeah, I went on a visit. Um, I was at this showcase, and it was like a bunch of like, it wasn't no big. It was a bunch of like smaller colleges, but like they were only looking at the big mans. Like they had, I. I I, kind of, I didn't like it actually. Like they had the big mans over there, like dunking and stuff. Then they had the guards running pick and rolls. Like they had the guards on one side and the bigs on one side. The bigs doing dunking drills and we running pick and rolls as yeah. guards. So I'm like, that's kind of like. So like, it wasn't like a game. It was like practice. No, like, like, like drills. Like, so we, yeah, we started off with workouts and then we started scrimmaging. The workouts I, I did horrible in the workouts. Like all the coaches were looking towards the big man and I'm like, bro, this is I'm playing so bad. Then we got in the scrimmage. And we played for eight minutes, and I had fourteen points. And then right after, like Southwestern, and I had they fourteen hit you. points. And then uh, we played like two more scrimmages, and I had like fourteen points in one of them, ten, and then I had like twelve or something. And then after that, we go like all the players go shake everybody, every coach hand, and then I'm shaking the coach hand. I'm like, come on, somebody say something to me. Somebody say something. To me. And then he like hold my. He said, I really like your game. Something, something. He was like, he said, I love how you just play your game, no matter who's watching. I'm like, okay, cool. So he was like. I want to get your number. I want to talk to you. I want you to come on a visit. And I'm like, bro, thank God. Like, yeah, I, was, yeah. like, I was so happy. You're so right, I, had yeah. to, I had to play it cool. And I was like, all right. So he came over, talked to me. I got his number. He talked to my brother and my auntie. And then he he actually, like, he wasn't texting me back for a minute. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I said, yeah, forget it. And then, like, <laughs> I was at uh, our, our football team. We played. It was a homecoming game. And he calls me during the game. And I'm like, and I look at it, I answer. And he was like. Uh, can you come on a visit tomorrow? No, Monday or Tuesday. It was a Friday. It was a Friday night game. So he was like, can you come Monday? And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. So I didn't go to school. I, my mom and my uncle took me. And he like he had a whole PowerPoint for me. Like He made a PowerPoint for me. Just told me like what he needs me to do. We'll just stay in the third. And then that's tough. like, I'm going to offer you. I, I, and then after you offered me, I stayed. I watched them practice. And then, yeah. So. Yeah, we're trying to get um, Mike on. I don't know if that... His Instagram is like I am Mike too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we want to get him on at some point. Like, but it's like it's so busy, you know, yeah. playing ball, and that's like yeah. an hour away. So 
get Mari on here. Mari? Mari, he's just one um, conference player of the week for Southwestern Michigan. Yeah, good for him. He's That's averaging, what's up. He's averaging like 22 right now. Yeah. Mari, nice. Uh, they got a dude over there named Sean. He nice. It's like a bunch um, of like people from AJ, around here. Michigan. Uh, AJ from Riley. He played at Riley. He's he over there. They got a dude named they got they got a few they got a few nice players. I think they got two dudes named Mike. They got another dude named Mike. <laughs> they got two. He's he big and he can just shoot. He nice. But Sean, Sean and Mari, they, they super nice. Yeah, they super nice. Sean, he just uh, Jordan posted him and he made a dude fall and just. I made, know. I saw. He that. made a dude fall. No, that- After he made him fall, he points at him. And he goes and shoots a midi, and he's pointing at him the whole time. Like, yeah, the whole I, play. he got like twenty five thousand. I think I, I think I commented on the chips and chops page on that post. I hope you don't get mad at me. <laughs> he got like twenty five thousand views right now. Yeah, on that post. We gotta he, check it out. He too. pointed at him the whole time. Like he crossed him, made him fall, and just pointed at him the whole time. And it made the shot. I was like, wow. Like That's it was, crazy. it was super nice. Yeah. I don't know. So you guys are gonna show up this year, Clay, right? Probably yeah, double digit wins for sure. Definitely, definitely. No, I'm excited. I wanna. It'd be cool to get some Holy Cross people come and coach. Like, does he? He's gonna go to some games, so yeah, definitely. It'd be cool yeah, to do that. But yeah. um, are you? You're 100. percent You're hooping in college. Yeah, of course. Is, is that like? Is that like? That's been I, like ever since I've known you. That's been your dream, right? Yeah. It's like it, it, no right. matter what, that's your what you're yeah, gonna do. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of crazy that it's like actually happening now. You got any other passions? Like, what what you want to do in college? Like education wise. I don't know what I want to major in yet. I'm thinking business right now. Yeah. But you know, I'm still trying to figure that out. Because you had a you were selling shirts for a while. You yeah, made your own shirts. Yeah. But you know, I'm I'm still trying to like figure everything out. Like figure out what I like actually want to do. Like when it's not basketball. So I'm still like figuring yeah. that part out. Yeah, but like you can. You know, you can go. That's a two-year college. You can yeah. transfer to somewhere. And, yeah, that's that's you know. the goal, though. Like, if if I go there, like if yeah. I was to go there, like go there, you know, kill the coach. He played at Iowa State. Good for school, yeah, that's D one. That's he, a he connection. Co- he coached. He coached D one schools. So like, you know, he a good coach. Yeah, yeah. he's and he's he's, he's, just, he's a super nice dude too. So he got receipts. Huh? He got receipts. Like yeah. he can yeah. he can show that he's you know he's a good yeah. coach. He's a super nice dude. So like you know go like if if I was to go over here, you know go kill. Yeah. You know, if it get everything right and then transfer to a higher school or some two more years. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like besides basketball, like what are some of the other stuff that you're like into? It seems I mean obviously you dedicate your life to basketball. Like that's yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like 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 the past like like at, like last year, like this summer, like literally all I did was who? Yeah. Like six in the morning workouts. Go home, go to sleep, get up, go back, lift, go home. Go back, who like me, Marcus, and me, Marcus, and T. We were in the gym every day, like two to three times a day, every single day. What What's your day to day look like now? Um, get up, go to school. Right after school, I got practice, and then um, some days after practice, I'll stay and like get extra shots up and stuff, or I would just. And then after practice, I just leave and go home, eat, go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. But, but during I the off season, season, oh, during the off season. Let me even have an off day, like, like uh, the day we had PSATs, yeah, and those seniors had to go to school. I went to the gym two times before practice. That's just crazy. But like during the off season, like this whole summer, it was literally to just like I would get up at six, go to the gym. Uh, we would work out for about like an hour or two. Shout out Junior. Junior worked us up. Got in there every day with us. Uh, yeah, so we go in there. I we'll leave. Go. I go to sleep. Come back. Lift. And then uh, leave again and come back and like we're like either work out again or we have like runs or something up there, but we had like decent runs this summer. A bunch of the high school ho- hoopers. Yeah, that seems tough. like. I mean, you. That's just crazy. Like you, like you're really on that grind. Like yeah. nobody can say that that you don't work hard. You yeah, know? definitely. Who Who are some of your uh, Who are some like the players that you're looking forward to go against this year? Besides like teams, Dave. This is a good question. Like, okay. like he can say like the teams, but like who Who yeah. are the people that you really just wanna. Um, I'll play, I guess, if you play. The the player that I want to go against the most, is Marcus T and Tank, and them my boys. So you really just want to kill them, my boys. So I just want, you know, I got to hoop against them. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I want to play Fat Fat Marcus Burton. You know, obviously, I'm yep. Marcus. Yeah. Um, I want to play Britt, Brent, Brent Van Adams. I want to play Britt. Yeah. Adams has a freshman on varsity this year. Jarvis, he's he's nice. I want to play Britt. Um, Chase Chase Kinesby. Yeah, Steven. I want to play Steven too. That's it. Washington too. Yeah. Um, let me think. I know it's Deglin. I want to play Deg. I think I we're gonna run a lot of men this year, so you know you'll like, be the, you'll be guarding one of yeah, them. Yeah, probably. That's fun. I want to play Deg. Um, Joey, Joey, Josh. I mean, I'm not gonna be guarding Josh and them, but like you know. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, you'll be on Joey probably. But. Yeah, Josh. Probably yeah, yeah, probably Joey. Yeah, but you know, um, I know I'm missing somebody. Oh, I want to 
not even a, a like a certain player, but I just want to play Riley. I forgot to say Riley. Actually. Yeah, I want to. I want to play Riley because Riley is our rival school. I think it should be Washington, but Riley's our rival school. And last year they beat us by three, and they boxing won me. They box one. Yeah, year, boxing man. one is crazy. Box, boxing one year. is they beat, crazy. They beat us by three. Boxing one. Yeah. It's you. It's a two zone, and then yeah, just can, one person just yeah, guards. It's a head. person on both blocks and up top, and then one dude just chasing me around. Like, it's what it's what I, you do if you can't guard. If yeah, you can't guard. Yeah. yeah. So like, if I catch the ball and I go, like, if I get past somebody, they come up and like. So like, it's basically forcing me to make my other players play. Well, Miguel ended with twenty one that game. Good for Miguel him. was hooping that game. But yeah, that's, I, I want to pop out of some clay games this year. Yeah, it's kind of like you guys are the underdogs, right? Yeah, definitely. Riley's our rival school, so if we beat them, we get our trophy back. Okay, like, we get like this little trophy. Like, when's they the last took, time you guys beat them? I don't know. <laughs> Twenty years ago, <laughs> in the nineties, like, they, they took the trophy from us last uh, last year, and I was like, bro, yeah, we lost. I bought a buzzer beater. Man, I got fouled, but you know it's cool. What would you say is like the biggest like lesson that basketball has taught you? Um, that's like a, that's like a really loaded question, but. Let me think. Um, one of the main things basketball, like, I don't want to say it taught me, but, like, it brought me, like, a lot of people. Like, you yeah, know, you meet a lot of people from basketball, like, you know, good and bad. Like, so, but, like, well, let me think. That's really just what sports are. Sports, because yeah, yeah, once your emotions come out and yeah, like, sports like, bring out like, the emotions, like, then you can yeah. get those connections with like people. You're on the court, like, you're you, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, meet a lot of, like, you meet a lot of new people, like, friends, you know, some, mo- some people that you, like, play with or play against become family. Like, but the thing basketball's probably taught me the most is, um, I really don't know. Yeah. Like, that's the question I have to think about. I'm going to come back to that one. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to think about it, though. I'm going to come back to that one, though. No, that, yeah, that's a hard one. I mean, like, yeah. Like, it seems like you're, like, the hardest worker, though. That's, like, a thing, you know? I don't know if you'd be that way if, like, bowls for basketball or something like that, you know? <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> but, um. You no, know, like, being at Clay, maybe you're, like. Maybe you have a hidden talent for like violin or something. Oh God, bro! <laughs> he's, he loves the arts, <laughs> bro. Man, you're gonna be seeing him here. He's he's not gonna be on the basketball. He's drawing pictures. So, <laughs> nah. no, I, I mean, you're I, I, you I made shirts. Like, yeah, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, that was it. It was, it was fun while it lasted. No, you're not doing it anymore. I don't think so. Why not? I don't know. I just it don't seemed really, like it was pretty good. Like it was. It, it like was you were actually, making some dope. It was actually going pretty good, but like I don't know. Like I just don't like love it. Like it was just like something to do. It's a money maker, right? Yeah, it for like a is. time being. It yeah. definitely is. But Did like, you do it all by yourself? Yeah. Well, my um my brother's mom, she helped me a lot. Like yeah. she had all the machines and stuff, and she she really helped me a lot with it. And um yeah, so she helped me a lot. No, that was, it was like a. I mean, I'm not. If I wasn't so broke, I probably would have got one. But like, it was a cool design. I mean, I don't know if you've seen it. I, I didn't it's like it's those. LOL. So it's lack of love. Instead of like laughing out loud, so it's like, is it like the opposite of? Yeah, like the meaning I have for it is like basically like a lot of people like act like they're happy, but then like they're not. So like you know, LOL means laugh out loud, but it can also mean like lack of love. So like, that's tough. Yeah. No, that's that that's deep. That is yeah. deep. That is oh god. <laughs> Man, we need to get we need to get you writing some bars or something, bro. Um, no, nah, that is cool as heck. Yeah. Um, so like from now on, like what are your what are your future plans? Right, you're going into your senior year basketball. Um, like for my senior year, or like, and just like in the next five years, even like. Well, you know, obviously, you know, go to college. I don't really know what I want to do after college, though. Like, depending on how college goes, but you, you know, become I wanna, a basketball coach. You can yeah, go overseas. I, I want to actually. That is the plan. I want. I want to go overseas, but I think it all depends on like how college goes and stuff. I can't really like tell what's gonna happen in the next like few years. Yeah. But my goal for this year, like this season. Um, I want to have a winning season. That'd be so tough. Yeah, I want to have a winning season. Win sectionals. Our sectional is pretty hard, though. What's your sectional? Yeah, no. <laughs> that, Marion. That's, St. that's a tough. Marion, St. Joe, Washington. But they took John Glenn out, so we got Jimtown and New Prairie now. But, like, Washington and – Washington, St. Joe, and – Washington and Marion are really good. Yeah, they're nice. Like, they're – I mean, I don't – yeah, they're nice. But I don't know. I'm just – That'd be crazy if you guys could do yeah, If you so, guys could pull that off, like, uh, that would – Yeah, definitely. People would stop sleeping. That would be – I don't even know. That'd be bigger than. That'd be the biggest thing in the last. 20, I, that could be bigger than you guys play winning the state championship. Like. <laughs> yes. That just would winning be. like it's. I mean it's sectionals, but like. Bro, they win a, if we win a sectional, bro. It's gonna be. 
crazy. Like, bro, I'm gonna be so hyped. That'd be crazy. I'm gonna get him like a megaphone or something <laughs> after the game. Just. Sitting on top of the rim or something, bro. bro. So no, you'd have to pull a whole Pat Bev. Throw, you're throwing your jersey into the crowd, bro. You're I'm on s- top of the stand. You're yelling, like, I gotta do something. You gotta but do something crazy. The, uh, the sectional was at Gymtown this year. I don't know how I feel about that one, but you know, yeah, that's gonna suck. Cool. Marion, I actually like Marion's score. I wanted to play on them again because you know they got it. Uh, they got their bleach and stuff. Their environment's good. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, cool yeah. how it's like, it's kind of like compact. Yeah, but the, I don't like how the sections are diagonal from each other instead of yeah. across. Like that's yeah, so stupid. Like, that, like yeah. you should be standing right across from them. Yeah, I don't like that either. But and then um, win first team and I get first team and I see. Yeah, I mean if I don't, I wouldn't really be mad because like only thing that first team and I see gets you is at clay you get on the wall. Like they put a picture of you on the wall. I really could care less about being on the wall or not. Yeah. But my main goal is to have a winning season and to win sectionals. Yeah. Sure. I mean. Get more offers too, but like, I don't yeah, know, like, those like, will those yeah, will come with your yeah, work. Like, yeah, I'm not, but like, I'm to the point where like, even if I didn't get any more, like, you're happy. I'm going with. to college for, like, for, for, for hooping, I'm, yeah. going, I'm going to college for basketball. Like, yeah, even if I don't get any more, like, like a big old weight lifted off my shoulders after I got my first offer. Like, I was like to the point because you like senior year. That's when teams like teams usually recruit like colleges. They usually like sophomores, juniors, like so, like they don't usually recruit during senior yeah. year and stuff. Like, unless it's like AAU, and then that's like college about to start soon. Like, for real. so. When yeah. that happened, it lifted a big old weight off my shoulder. Yeah, well, that's that's awesome that you're yeah. playing college hoops, right? Yeah, it's definitely crazy. Crazy how we're in, you know, I, we're in seventh grade, man. I was, I was a hater, bro. And now you, you know, now you playing, now you're gonna play college ball. Bro, we used to argue so much. We did bro, about um, everything. I remember I made a post and we did like this. I did like this vote on Snapchat about who was better, LeBron or Kobe. You kept saying LeBron, I was saying Kobe. And we just argued about everything. But you knew everything. Like, yeah. You, like, you knew all, like, basketball stuff. Like, when I came, I was so surprised how much you knew. Like, you knew career oh. highs he and said he would averages. Make, he, he said he made note cards and stuff and would study them. He, you did? Yes, bro. Like, <laughs> he I knew everything. He knew everything. Like, well, like, like he knew some stuff I didn't know. Like, I'll be arguing about something. He'll say something. I'm like, that true? I'm like, that ain't true. Then I'll look it up. I'm like, that's true. Yeah. I'm like, wow. I would know, like, oh, you, what's... Pat Beverly's average, I'll be like, oh, you know, seven point nine three points yeah, or something. Like, I'll say, like, so I'll be like, I know seven point nine. Like I was yeah. like that. Like, like he knew, like he knew all that stuff. That's crazy. I would probably spend like, bro, I would probably spend like five hours a day. Yeah. Like, but like it would days we weren't arguing, we were just like actually talking about it. Yeah, yeah. we had a lot of like funny yeah. moments. Bro. Yeah, like yeah. I think I look back like every single day, like I would just be like dying bro like, 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 yeah, yeah. like deep down middle school is the best days yeah like, like in like, the moment like it was like man like this sucks but like yeah. looking back like there was yeah. so many like, funny we were just times kids bro, bro. like yeah, just yeah. chilling like it was just it was just like a lot of, like goofy stuff happening Facts. you know Facts. um yeah is there anything else you want to talk about or no uh, not really not did, not did you come up with the answer to the question or not yet no <laughs> you have, we're gonna have to talk about that after right um let me just get a good thinker. <laughs> <laughs> we could put that. We could just get like put on the Instagram or something after or something. But yeah, we might have to. <laughs> yeah, get like a, a I message. Yeah, I can't really put a note or something. Yeah, I can't really. I can't really think. That's a. That's like a deep question. Like, yeah, really I should have told you that before or something. Yeah, you really um, gotta think on that. One. <laughs> but yeah, can you tell the people where they can find you, like uh, on social media and stuff? Oh uh, dang, I don't know my Instagram. Is that Roop Three yeah, Harris or something? I think it's Roop Harris Three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that'll be in the description, though. Yeah, I think it's like Root Paris 3 or something. You got, yeah, highlight, you got highlights on there or something or anything? Oh, or... uh, uh, yeah, I think so. I think I got a little mixtape on there or something. That's cool. Yeah, you do. I yeah, think I, I, saw yeah, I, got, I got a mixtape on there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so thank you guys for listening. Check us out on Instagram, Spotify, YouTube, Stitcher, Spotify, TikTok. We've been kind of going down on TikTok. Spotify We're going to try to get it. Hmm? You said Spotify twice. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was gonna call him out. That. I was gonna let it slide. I, didn't, I was trying to think of something. We're trying to. We're gonna try hey, to get some. in the in the high school uh, highlight. Like we're we're coming to high school near you. Chips and chops loading on uh, on that. More details will be posted on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, everything. We're more than just a podcast. <laughs> we're a network. Yeah. All right, that's a wrap. All right, see Peace. you guys next time.